All right, what's good, YouTube? If you guys are here, you clicked on this video, it's because you want to learn how to hit a little bit better, some hitting tips and things that I do personally, Ochev, uh, to get better at this game. I am a top 50 player uh, pretty normally in this game, uh, if, especially if I try. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've uh, Last year, and then when we just showed 21, I was like 21st lifetime rank. I, I'm, I'm a top player in, in all the senses, uh, and I know what it takes to be one. <clears throat> so that's why we're here. I, I think I, I have a pretty good... Uh, pretty good handle on how to explain things to people. Kind of make rather complex thoughts, I suppose, seem really simple. One of the things I'm good at is that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, apparently I contracted Ebola at some time after breakfast till now. But uh, let's get in with man. What do I do? Well, the first thing I do is I have to make some adjustments. I want to get... I want to put my ankle weights on. Now, what does that mean? Let's go. This is the home screen of MLB to show 22. Now, what you're going to do is go to the top right, and you're going to go to the sliders. And you're going to scroll all the way down to fastball, pitch speed, and off speed, pitch speed. And you're going to put it up four ticks all the way to this part right here. I want to see faster fastballs, uh, cra uh, crazier off speed pitches when I am hitting in practice. That will get you ready for online. Online speeds are faster than offline speeds. So practicing for Legend or Hall of Fame offline will not help you online because they're, diff they're different. There is a much, much bigger delay. And the, the, the timing windows are tougher online because the pitches are faster. It's just the way it is. So this is something you can do to help you out. What you do is when you back out of that, it's going to ask you to save. You save it to a, a you save uh, your sliders. This way, when you're ready to go, you go in here to load. You load up. I got mine sliders plus four velo is what I've titled it as. It's loaded up. Then I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna we're gonna get working on uh, getting some rosters in here, some DD rosters, because for some reason we still can't do custom practice in DD. Uh, we'll pick a team. We'll face the Phillies, and I think what we're gonna do is we'll probably do we'll do the American League All Stars. So that's good enough for me. I'm gonna go over to ship it, which plays really well. At it, by the way, if you guys are new to ship it, you don't know what that means. Just just try it out. If you guys are Returning players, you know ship it used to be the wave in, in all the other games, and it still is pretty good. Now it's at 1,200 feet of elevation. Okay. Anyway, practice type. What do you do now? Well, we're going to put up uh, we'll put up Mike Trout versus Zach Wheeler. All these pitches are selected. Now, if you want to just get to it, get to working on hitting the ball and not work on your eye, what I recommend is clicking all of these spots when you're ready because that means they will not be out of the zone, any of the pitches. Now, that's taken care of. We're, uh, we're, we're practicing on Hall of Fame because uh, I'm not a legend yet, and uh, there's no reason to practice like that. But Hall of Fame, it makes some sense. I think a lot of people have played it. Most people have at least played Hall of Fame one point or another. Not everyone's played legend. Uh, you'll notice the pitch speeds are a little bit crazier. That's 96 miles per hour in Hall of Fame on a fastball. No outlier. It's coming in pretty crazy. You see, that's pretty good speed. So what do I do pre-pitch? Well, <clears throat> what, what I've noticed with MLB The Show 22 is that it's a lot less friendly so far, at least in the, the six games I've played. To early swings. So you're going to catch the ball deeper in the zone. Man, that pitch, that off-speed pitch was crazy. You're going to want to catch the ball deeper in the zone. <clears throat> and overall, what you want to do in this game, and I'm going to be to show, when you're hitting online, is cover your weaknesses. Now, the new PCI anchor system is very, is very good for that. So if you're weak up and in, PCI anchor up and in, start there. <clears throat> and with this new system, what that means is you'll be tighter around the upper... Uh, the, t the upper up in up and in with Mike Trout, you're gonna it's gonna be a little tighter for you. Now, what does that mean? Well, the sensitivity is a lot is a lot slower. It's more controlled, and then as opposed to when you go down here, it's faster now because in the other side of the zone. So, if you have trouble up and in, and you and you kind of you, you find yourself matching your PCI like kind of like this right here, what you want to do is start up and in with that PCI anchor, and then just work on it like that. Um, other than that, it's really just about what I've noticed with 22, like I said, earlies are getting punished more just lates and lates. If you square them up on inside pitches, a part of the zone, it seems to be that it's still pretty powerful. Uh, like they always shoot up the middle. I don't really know why. How do I attack, uh, righty righty in this game? If it's, uh, he's got a sinker in this. So let's just do, we'll do sinker slider combo. So you guys can work on it. Um, Let's cut. I'm going to do the, the piece of anchor up and in. If I'm getting beat, guys, up and in with my right-handed hitters, uh, with velo or if it's sinkers, which aren't as good this year, which is important to understand, uh, sinkers up in the zone are not as effective. 
This is what you'd, you'd, what you'd want to do. But what I've, I've seen, I think that the meta is going to be a little different than 21 in terms of getting ready to hit because sinkers aren't as strong up and in or up and away anymore because of the PAR expanding now. They've made sinkers uh, that go up in the zone, sliders as well, curveballs, changeups, anything that's up in the zone that really shouldn't be. The PAR gets huge, so it kind of goes all over the place. And what I've seen so far is that sinkers kind of flatten out a little bit too. Yeah, up in the zone, more so than last year. Timing was good on that one. I cheated up and in. I got the pitch, and I hammered it. Uh, now, what do I personally do? I am not going to be using the PCI Anchor. That, to me, screams like it's a really new feature for a newer player. I like to be balanced and start with the middle and work on my movement and its own. How do I view the PCI? Well, I think for as, as far as hitting tips go, let's go into the PCI first. As far as hitting tips go, I really recommend this, guys. I talked about it in my Switch settings video. If you happen to catch that one, hitting interface, zone, input type buttons. That is really the only way that you should hit in this game if you're actually trying to get serious by hitting in Diamond Dynasty online. That is what I would use. It's really the only way. Now, when it comes to the center, inner, outer, and color and transparency for the PCI, it's all a lot of preference. I go with center, PCI center being circles, PCI inner being wedge. I go no outer because it's a little too distracting for me. I don't think I need it. PCI color cyan because I just like that color a lot. And PCI transparency being 50% because I want to see it, but I don't want it to catch my eye all the time. I don't want it to be distracting. It needs to be in my peripheral. And PCI fade out does not matter as I do have PCI outer off. That just means that if you have it on, it, it fades away as the pitch comes in to whatever you'd have on the inner. Uh, so this is the PCI I work with, this little thing. I like it when it's... I like the wedge because it's thicker on the outside, thinner on the inside. I like it thinner on the inside so I don't feel jammed when I'm hitting. That's really just it. It's a preference thing. Ultimately, it comes down to what you like. Um, so what? Is, how do I approach at-bats now? That sinkers and sliders and change-ups and curveballs are flattened out more and more up in the zone now than as accurate. Well, I'm really focusing on getting my fastball up in the zone. And if I don't, waiting back on everything else. So the only pitch that's really going to beat me big time is going to be a fastball up and in. So let's just do... We'll do fastballs up in the zone. Actually, we'll do this. We'll do... We'll cover four seam, slider, sinker, and up and in, up and away. That's going to be the zones. As you guys see, the slider breaks really fast with the sliders on. We'll adjust the hitting tips as things go on. As the year goes on, I'll work on my PCI control video, how to get good with the PCI. That will come sooner rather than later. But for now, my only hitting tips that I can give you guys is really just focus on your weaknesses, right? Guard them. Whatever you're weak at, maybe lock your PCI there. Overall, don't mash your PCI. The way I think of it is like this. I did it right there. I got underneath it. It's I went too crazy. Think about it like this. Yeah, um, in, what is it called? Table table hockey, where you have the little thing and you're gliding and you're, you're blocking the, the puck and you're trying to get it into your opponents. That's what a PCI should be like. It needs to be a glide, smooth, nice and loose movement and almost like you're blocking the ball when it's coming in. If you start stabbing and flicking towards it, that's it. If you ever seen it in, in air hockey, that's what it's called, air hockey. If you ever seen it in air hockey, it's how you miss it every time. It's how, the, it's how you always end up missing entirely or you hit it into your own side of the thing, into your own goal. So that to me is a, is a really solid metaphor that I keep in my brain when I know that I'm not doing great, right? And I am, I'm smashing my PCI. What do I do? It's that. I consider my PCI... Like, a, um, like it's a ca it's like a it's like a glove, like a fielder's glove. You want to catch the ball, but it, the better analysis would be like if it's air hockey. That's how you want to view it. You want to catch it, reflect the ball almost, but not stab at it. If you catch yourself stabbing at it, or if you feel stabby, you feel like you're guessing. You feel like you're if you're stabbing at the ball, or AKA PCI, if you're mashing, is what people call it. It is indicative of a couple of things, but also what's going to happen is it's not just going to be about lack of PCI accuracy. Your timing's going to be off. Because if you're you're mashing for one particular timing, you're mashing because you think it's a fastball, you're mashing because you think it's a curveball, and if you get fooled, they're going to be late, early, too early, too late. Not ideal. Anyways, moving on to things that are also super relevant here. Here's This is Matt Olson. Okay. Uh, we're going to go... No, wrong pitcher. Let's get... Ranger Suarez here works for me. Lefty lefty is another tough thing to work on, especially with a guy with a harder sinker. So how do I approach a lefty on lefty at bat here with someone with a hard sinker? Um, 
If you're really struggling, PCI anchor to right about in the middle zone. I don't think middle up because I think it's easier to flick to that. I think middle in because it's hard to control the PCI into the middle of the zone. It's easy to flick up and in, flick down and in. It isn't as easy to maintain that middle part of the zone. So we're going to go over there. We're going to lock the middle and we're going to get ready for a sinker. That was a slider. That was low key nasty. Caught me off balance. But that is essentially the principle that I hit with lefty lefty. That's the pitch that's going to get by you. You really need these, these sliders are crazy. It will help you get better. These sliders. You really need to focus on not getting beat with a slot with the sinker up and in because to me the fastest pitch in the game is not righty righty up and in sinker, uh, outlier fastball to right. No no, it's lefty lefty sinkers. To me that is the craziest pitch to hit in this game. It doesn't feel very good, and I'm getting buckled by these sliders. Got onto that one relatively well. Missed it a little bit, just a little bit, but man, I just woke up. <laughs> My reaction time is bad. That's the problem there. You don't want to get underneath it. That's what I'm saying. It's the hardest to maintain is that middle in area lefty lefty. Practice where you're weak. It is very important. Now, for me personally, I will not be using the PCI anchor, but I will be cheating over that way. It's a comfortability thing. Man, that sinker's looking nuts. Lefty lefty. All right, wake up, boy. I'm going to take a sip of this coffee real quick. Hmm. Now, what is the lefty-lefty pitches? What are the pitches you're going to see if you're facing lefty-lefty on Diamond Dynasty? You're going to see sinker up and in. You're going to see circle chains low and away, slider low and away. It's going to basically be that spam. The tunnel is going to be sinker up and in, slider low and away. That's going to be the spam you'd see for the most part. That's going to be the go-to combo. There we go. Got to that. Fastballs are so much lower than sinkers. It's nuts. That sinker had so much drop on it. Oh, my loud. But uh, that's the combo you're going to see. You're going to see that pitch right there, and then you're going to see sliders low and away. Uh, I think to so just overall adjust for that, we'll do... Uh, no, we'll leave it, we'll leave it, because he's kind of doing that as, on his own. Got that circle change. See, that, that, I didn't touch that, really, but it's flattening out up in the zone, uh, and it feels like you get punished more for throwing those pitches there than you would normally in years prior. Getting stabby. Getting stabby, gotta relax. Catch. Wait for the sinker. Don't get beat on it. That would be a base hit through the middle as long as there's no shift. Gotta get better with the PCI, though. There we go. Crack that. Opposite field tank. A little bit of a middle, middle pitch. But like I said, it's not... I mean, that looks easy. And obviously, yeah, it kind of is. But also, we got to remember something. One of the hardest pitches to hit if you guys play Diamond Dynasty is the fastball on the middle. But on top of that, sinkers have that wonky timing, man. And they're going to be some of the hardest pitches to hit in the game. All right. One more thing to get into before I say my goodbyes to you guys is... Let's get Devers up here. And we'll go with Wheeler again. Overall, I think you should definitely cover your weaknesses, but you should play to your strengths. So whatever you are weak against, definitely cover for. But whatever you're strong for, don't even think about, really. So if you're really good at covering low in the zone fastball, sliders down and in, then don't really think, spend too much time thinking on that. If you can react to it and crush it, then do that. For me... I know what's going to happen is, for my weaknesses online, I'm going to drop my PCI sometimes in middle, middle pitches, and I'm going to get beat up and in with the same-handed pitchers. So I want to really avoid that by covering my weaknesses. I always cheat up and in. Righty, righty, man. Boom. I cheat up here. I think we're coming in crazy. But I play in my strengths, cover my weaknesses. That's really the only thing I can tell you so far. Uh, as the meta evolves, we'll, the hitting tips are going to obviously change. Uh, depending on what pitches we're going to be seeing more, who's the better pitchers are, and all that stuff. So for Randy's case, he's the probably the best pitcher in the game right now. Lefty lefty is going to be tough. Get in practice. Face against Randy Johnson is in the offline roster. He's on one of the rosters, the legend rosters. You could face him there. Uh, he doesn't have quite the same pitches, but he's there nonetheless. I'm just trying to hit one good before I hop off from this video because it's just like a, it's a frustration thing at this point. Yeah, man, when you have plus the velocity, things are crazy. Because what happens is when you turn the velo up, guys, the pitches break faster. So. Yeah, hitting tips, guys. This is really good, right? You like to see this? Jojo, cut this shit out, man. The last couple last couple seconds of me hit. Just cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out of the video. We're working out. We're going to get this done. Good enough for me. Sat on the curveball, spanked up the middle. 
that's how you do it guys if you enjoyed this video and it helped you even just a little bit like the video comment down below subscribe man put that bell on don't miss when we post every day noon eastern time a bunch of videos mixed in between right now it's gonna be a bunch of uploads as we go along through the new game release all right yo i appreciate you guys big time i'll catch you guys for the next video peace